Yep, Generative Fill is here, and you know I'm a big fan. However, there are other AI tools in Photoshop which you might not know about, and today we're going to look at the Smart Portrait Neural Filter, which will help you take your boring portraits to create more visually appealing portraits. So let's jump on in and have a look. Okay, so let's make a start with our first image, which I'm just going to click and drag in, which is this man over here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, I'm going to duplicate the um, duplicate the layer. I always do that as a force of habit. But if we go up to Filter with the top layer selected and come to Neural Filters, what you may have to do when this loads is you may see a little cloud icon like this one by here, and you just need to download that filter. So we've got two which we're going to quickly look at. First one is Skin Smoothing. Once you've clicked the download, then you'll see that you can turn them on and off. And if we just have a quick look at the skin by here and turn on Skin Smoothing, you'll probably see now that it does a pretty good job of kind of smoothing some of those blemishes, particularly the light in the creases of his forehead by there. And it does a really, really good job, like I said. So I'm, I'm just going to keep that one off for now, but you know that it's there to use. Now, if we come to Smart Portrait, I'm going to click and turn this one on. And I do honestly find that this is a bit hit and miss. The featured um, dials by here, I find the best. So what you can do is you can auto balance. I would keep this on. If you read here, what it does is, I'll redo the definition. Um, it constrains all of these combinations to make a more natural result. So for example, if you turned up be happy and then you went to expressions and also turned up anger, that's not gonna give you a very natural look. And like I said, I'll be honest, these sliders I find work the best. The expressions down here I don't find very good and um, the global ones down here, especially with the rise of AI now, I think it, it, people lean more on that. But let's go ahead and turn the dial up to make this guy happy. Now this will start processing and it may take about 20 to 30 seconds to do so. Okay, so here's the result. And if we come down here, we can see the before and after just to click through. So, you know, it has done quite a, bit, a good job there. Maybe the teeth a uh, bit of discolored on that one, but there. Um, we can also have a go at doing some other dials. So let's um, go hair thickness. Let's take that down and let's put facial age up. I do find the higher you crank these and the more that you've got going on, again, sometimes the more abstract the result. But actually, he does, he looks less happy. Um, doesn't look that much older, to be fair. He's um, doing a good job with that. Um, so yeah, you can see that these are quite hit and miss, really. But I do like the, um, the be happy one to give someone a smile is probably one of the stronger ones. So let's go ahead and just zero all of these out. And let's go to expressions. And let's increase surprise. Now, generally, what I found is this tends to raise the eyebrows rather than open the mouth of the um, model or who you've got. But yeah, you can see it's actually opened the mouth there. Let's put that up to 50 to see if it does it anymore. There is a little bit of an issue with the teeth, but not too difficult of a cleanup job. Um, let's zero this out and take anger up to see what that does. I think it may take down the eyebrows a bit or that's what it's done in the past. Um, but yeah, he's also got an open mouth as well. Um, so you've got them. Um, you can see they kind of get you maybe half of the way there. Let's turn down Be Happy to see if that makes him sad. He's already got a tear actually on his eye but there. And let's see what that gives us. Yeah, he's a bit more somber. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play with a couple of things. You've got global as well, so you can try and change your head direction. That doesn't, um, it's, not, it's not the best one, um, but we'll see kind of what we get. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, what we can do now is when we output this, we can either say add it to the current layer, new layer or new layer masked. I tend to go new layer masked and I'll just click OK. So I've got this on there, so it's, it's just changed that. Okay, so that's that one. Now let's try it on a different model. So let's go here and back up to filter and neural filters. And again, I think I'd like to see a little bit more of a smile there. So let's go ahead and just turn this on and maybe increase the be happy and the facial age just to see kind of what we get. Okay, well, it's definitely made her happier, but that facial age has been, again, it's been very, very kind, isn't it? I wonder what happens if we take the hair thickness down. Okay, so if we go before and after, you can see it has redacted some of the hair, but still, it's mainly the smile which we've got working well there. So let's just click cancel out here because some of that's not working for me. So what we can do is now with Photoshop Beta, you can see we've got this generative um, option down here. What we can actually do is draw a mask around. So we'll do this a different way. Draw a mask around here. And let's click Generative Fill and click Smiling 
and then I'll put comma teeth and let's click generate. Okay, so this is another way of doing it and actually that does look quite terrifying. That one and that one as well. Um, so, you know, this is another option to try if the uh, neural filters aren't working for you. You could um, go ahead and let's just go with smiling and just click generate because maybe the teeth aren't quite working. So let's go ahead and see what this gets us. And you can always keep over here in the properties window. You can keep regenerating until you get what you like. Cool. So that's a lot better. I think putting the word teeth in there just through it. Um, and yeah, maybe not that one. And that one's quite cool as well. So it's between this and this. I think I'm going to go for that one and click off. And if we zoom out now, yeah, that's not too bad. I'll be honest, that's not bad at all. And I think if I carried on generating, um, that would have done it. So you've got two options there. You've got neural filters and you've got that generative fill. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, leave a comment of what you want to see next time. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video tutorial. Cheers.